In December 2005, the South Korean government ordered the imminent seizure of the village of Daechuri. Along with more than 1,200 acres of surrounding farmland, Daechuri was to be sacrificed to make way for the expansion of a nearby U.S. military base. The order came with the ominous warning. Forced evictions would take place if the residents did not move out peacefully. They didn't. On February 7, 2006, Daechuri declared autonomy from Korea and vowed to resist with violence any efforts to expel them from the expanded base area. Throughout the year, Daechuri was the scene of some of the fiercest and most violent confrontations between protesters and the government in recent years. Government contractors, supported by thousands of riot police, repeatedly assaulted the village, demolishing schools and other buildings before being repulsed by large numbers of demonstrators. As the villagers' struggle to save their homes and way of life was more widely reported, Daechuri became a magnet for artists, musicians, and anti-war activists. Vivid murals, some depicting a pastoral way of life, others with anti-war sentiments, appeared throughout what remained of the village. Installation pieces and artworks of every description could be found throughout what activists and residents dubbed the Peace Village. Surrounded by barbed wire and riot police, the few residents that remained were effectively under siege. Daechuri, which means Great Harvest Village in Korean, was completely evacuated and finally demolished in early 2007.